What is going on United Geekdom? It's Ollie here, back for another review. And today I am reviewing my first ever Legion class review. Which is this one. He's him. This Devastator. So yes, I'm reviewing the Legion class Devastator. Constructor Con Devastator. And this is one of the best Transformers I have, including the leader class ones. Now, because it's so amazing, like, that Devastator isn't half as complicated as this one, because this one, they all turn into robots and vehicles and body parts, and they all c connect together so well, and it looks really movie accurate. It's so cool. So, yes, this is him in his robot mode. Uh, well, in his constructor con mode, and I'll be going through each of the three modes for them all. So, yeah, first, this is them all connected together. Uh, arms can move like that. Uh, they have just up and down and swivel movement, and they can move outwards, but it looks a bit weird, him standing like that. Yeah. Um, so, I just normally have them forwards to make it look like he's crawling along. Um, the hands, all the stuff in the hands moves, uh, open and close. The head is on this little, one sec, can I see? Head is on this little joint here, just a ball joint. All these little things coming off it, like, they can all move around as well, so you can bis position them however you want. The legs don't move forward or backwards that much. They're just on, like, a swivel, and they can move inwards not much outwards and not much backwards and forwards but there you go for the articulation anyway he looks so cool like i love having the ones like this where you can just look into them and just see all the parts connecting together like where you can see the wheels from one co going through parts of another and like when the wheels here go into the back of this we're all like that area is just it's so cool that they can make something like this complicated that can transform into all this stuff and it's it's it fits together really well and it looks really good it is about the size of the um it's about half the size of bumblebee over there about half the size of a human alliance figure um and but all the rest of these scale up reasonably well with the other legion classes although this should probably be a lot bigger. That's why those I normally use that with the Legion classes. Um, <clears throat> but no Devastator is perfect because with this one, he um, the head isn't really at an angle like it should be, and um, the vehicles are all off scale because there should be more of them. But it's the same with that one. So what can you do? It would have cost a lot more if they had like four or five extra vehicles in just to make it complete for the people who are mad about scale. I am kind of one of those people, but I'm not crazy about it. Like, I don't mind if something is a bit off from the others, like Starscream and Optimus Prime over there. I use those, those two together because I don't, I don't really care that Starscream's cockpit is too small for the people that would, should fit inside Optimus. Um, if he was a human alliance, but he's not. But anyway, back to the Devastator. There is some really nice detail on this, like, in the face. Just go, it's all hollow inside there. It's, like, lovely green, like, green, sort of rubbery plastic. Um, for his eyes. Let's see if I can get that. Um, yeah, so there's that lovely detail on his head. As you can see. There you go. His legs, um go in and out, have that weird transformer thing that quite a lot of them seem to have where it goes down, back and out again. Uh, that is good because it's really, it's movie accurate. This is probably the most movie accurate of the two Devastators. Um, probably just for the design of it and the way it's all shaped together. Because that one's more of like a standing up sort of transformer instead of where this one has to crawl along. Which is cool. But anyway, I think that's about it for Devastator. Nice little Decepticon sim symbol on his butt cheek. Come on.
come on. You know you want it. You know you want it. You know you want to see it. There we go. So yeah. Oh god, his arm fell off. Well, that's supposed to happen anyway. So yeah, I'll get on to with on that point. I will get straight on to transformation. So firstly, you just want to take all these limbs off and just put them to the side. So just they pop off pretty easily. So that's good. I'm just gonna put those back there for now as limbs. Um, the head, uh, comes off, slots in, those two bits there, I don't know if you can see it though, well. those two bits there slot into those two parts there, so yep, yeah, there's his head, uh, his legs, both pretty neat, um, and then his torso and waist. It now these uh, just like this, this one slides into the other so um what's gone wrong there um you just need to slide this backwards yeah just push it backwards to get it off like that and I will start tra the transforming with the waist so the way it's easier to transform them into the vehicles and then the transformer itself. So, this one, I can't remember what his name is, so I'm just going to call him Wastebot. So, this Wastebot here, um, what all you have to do for this is, like I said, connect the thighs together, which will devastate his thighs together. And you also want to bring the arms of this guy up and put them like that. And this little hook just goes in... There, you should click into place, and now you have its vehicle mode. Very nice detail on it. If I come, if it will let me focus, come on. Yep, there you go. Nice little engraved grill on there. I wish there was a bit more paint on these, but oh well, at least they've all got their own colors. Um, yeah, he has his own like little headlights in on him. And this little chamber up here where people would go. And yeah, all in all, pretty good. Okay, next I will do uh, Scavenger, I think this one's called. Because it's not Demolisher, like the other one. As you, I'm trying to make the camera focus on this guy. Because this guy needs to focus. There we go, right. Point right there, you can see he has very nice face detail. Um, I don't get it why on some of them they have like hollow parts on the inside of them. It's just a bit weird, but oh well, it's it's still good, still a good thing. So what you want to do to get this into vehicle mode is get these, twist them back like that, and into place. Actually, how do I do this? I've forgotten. It's been ages since I... Oh, yeah. These want to be pushed... The wheels here. Want to be... Unse if you'll let me show you properly. Here. Right. The wheels... Want to be pushed... Upwards... Like so. Till they can't go any further. Now... These parts will fall off a lot... But it doesn't matter, they just slot back on very easily. Um, so, arms need to just be straightened out. These parts need to be turned around. And push it into place like that. And connect, connect all together and bring it down. Then push these wheels up and push these bits up. And there you have Scavenger in his vehicle mode. Very nice. Again, little Legion class. For a Legion class, these for Legion class ones, these are good. Because Legion classes are just little mini ones. And these are all pretty good. And they all work as their own figures as well. They don't have to be part of the set. Although they're not sold separately. But they do work with the others. Um, but... Instead of, but like I say, I tend to use most, most, some of my bigger characters 
with the other Legion classes, like, um, I use the Voyager Demolisher instead of this Demolisher, Demolisher to go with the Legion classes, because he just scales up a lot better with them. But, yeah, next one. Now, I should... Actually, I need to lower this. There we go. Focus. It's all on your guys now. Okay. So, there we have the waist and the torso. Now, I'll do the head next. So, it's easy to see a bit of the detail better now. Very nice detail on his face. As you can see. And little green engravings on his neck. And, yeah, this one is a very easy vehicle mode. Just clip these... Clipped what were, what was Devastator's ears together and bring their head around and just click it in like that. Um, yeah. The one thing I don't like about Mixmaster throughout both of the Devastators is he's always out of scale. He's always the bigger one, which shouldn't be the case because half of the neck should be um, from Scavenger or Demolisher, whatever you want to call him. But it. I can see how it would be hard to get um, a movie accurate, like a properly movie accurate one, because he is a very hard figure to do. But in both cases, I mean, they're not entirely movie accurate, but they've still done a pretty good job, and I'm still really happy with both of them. But as you can see, yeah, way too big. Right, next are the arms. This one, this one's my favourite out of this one, this arm here. And Wastebot <laughs> is his new name. Um, are my favourite out of the Devastator Legion classes because I just think they're the coolest out of them. They look the coolest, and the head sculpts and everything, and the bodies. So if you didn't see catch that, just quickly, you need to twist. You need to twist these bits around, which were his like fingers, um, and push them up. Just get them into place, and then slot them together and that is the arm done oh gonna have to move out a bit there we go then hit the other arm gonna have to put them like that actually here's the other arm which is like a scorpion guy as you can see his little heads in there uh not much to say about this one there is this bit though and the claw which you can use in devastator mode as weapons Especially, like, um, in the film when he uses those, um, grap grappling hooks to climb. So you could use that as one. But I think that's intended, this is intended mainly for the, ow, for the robot mode. Just trap my finger in that. How dare it. Right, um, so, like I say, with this one, uh, nice detail on that bit, on, like, the arms and... Like how the, I like how they incorporated these as to be like fingers and his hands. But for this one, all you have to do is bring that down, push it under, and bring this bit out. And there you have the left arm. Get the the tracks on that side. Um, now for the legs. I'll do the left leg. There's a lot of yellow and red in this. Like, I wish I had one more colour, like blue. Maybe a blue one. Although, no, you don't really get blue ones. Maybe another green one, then. Like, maybe they could have had another green one just to add a bit more diversity in the set. Um, but, yeah, this is his leg. There is some nice detailing on it. I do... I do... the All these little Legion class ones have details that work into the final design and into the robot and vehicle modes. Like, look at that. That's really cool detail, just, like... All of that just adds to it, like little um, caterpillar tracks there as well. So it's like these bits have gone round the middle and stuff like that, and it is really cool. So now, transformation for this one, you want to disconnect these, bring this part around and just twist it, push it up like that, push that like that. Um, click that upwards and swing these bits down and there, that's the left leg completed. Now for the right leg, long haul, which is another one of my favourite Legion classes. 
I might do a Legion class review at some point. It'll just be really hard that every time I did a video, I'd have to empty my Legion class box and just line them all up because some of them don't balance very well. But to transform him uh, from leg mode, there's not as much detail on this one, I should say quickly, um, for the leg mode. But because most of the detail for this is put into the robot mode. But it's still pretty nice for this. Um, I can't tell whether I like having it like that more, or like that more, I think it's kind of cool like that, because it adds a bit of bend back to it before it goes down, so I normally have it displayed like that, but for transformation, you just bring that around, push this up, get this bit, and bring it down, and just um, push it into there, and it clicks in, then you bring this up, and just wiggle everything into place, and these bits just slot into those two there and that's that so this is devastator in his vehicle mode as you can see they're all very cool legion class vehicles and yeah they all seem to have a split down the middle of them these ones do anywhere these guys here and that one but yeah with now you can see them all it is really cool and i hope you guys have seen my stop motion videos because i might do a stop motion on this transforming, although that will take a very long time. Uh, and so, I will now transform them into their robot modes, starting with this and working my way out. So, with this one, you're just going to want to take his head and just uh, leave that there for now. Um, disconnect these two parts and bring it down. Um, the weird thing about this, I never got why that's there, because that little bit there, um, in between my fingers, that's his head, and it's a nice head sculpt. But then, they put this underneath, so for absolutely ages, I thought those were his eyes, and that was his massive mouth. But now I guess it's just chest detail or something. But anyway, you just disconnect all this back part, and click it in together. Flip these down. Uh, you can move these however you want, like these parts here, you can uh, twist them and flip them out if you wanted, but I don't know, I think that looks a bit weird. I just like keeping him like this in a sort of defensive mode with his um, little parts of his um, mixing part, so he can like defend himself and use them as shields. And that is it. For the transformation, just keep the devastated head back. Um, nice detail on it overall. Pretty nice. Um, it's a bit. I wish they found some way, like a flap to come down though, or just like something like if they put the bottom of this, like flipped it around there, so you could pull a cover out and just cover this over, so it wasn't what, so he wasn't dragging a head along. But oh well, it's still good, and it acts as a little extra balance thing. So yeah, that's pretty good. Now, on to the next one, I will do Wastebot. Because this is one of my favourites. Um, can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Focus, come on. Come on, focus. There you go. So to transform him, you just click that part out. Um, untab these two legs. Get this part and just um, see the little crane on his back here. You just grab this part and kind of, uh, well, no, actually, better to do is first bring the arms down. Then you can push that out of place, like clip it out of place. Uh, disconnect these parts. Um, push them up. Twist them like that and bring them down. And there you have him, little waste bot, smallest of these ones, with his giant legs, giant arms, giant shoulder pads, and giant hook, and a little head. I love this character, like, the head sculpt alone is really cool, it's like a knight, like he's wearing a knight's armour, um, and then, yeah, he's really cool, he has these massive shoulder pads, and these massive arms, and I really like this one, he's... My probably my favorite constructor con out of all of them, except for maybe long haul and those two, but 
these, well, these three are my definite favourites. Because they are really good out of them. Um, so, yeah, that is his transformation all done. Next master, you take up so much space. God. Um, going to have to... Right, I'm going to disconnect Mix Mixmaster's... God, that's a tongue tie. Arms and bring them down so that I can fit them all in. Uh, put you back there. And move those guys out the way. Then, next one I'll do is the other red one. Um, so, Scavenger, I believe he is called. So, first, you want to disconnect these two parts. And, eh, oh god. Yep, disconnect those two parts. And these will snap, probably, most of the time they do. But you'll just want to move those out of the way and separate the two wheels. Um, and you basically, oh, stop falling off. Move these flaps out of the way. And, um, if you can see, the wheels are separated and they can move. So, push it, wiggle this one inwards, and wiggle this one inwards as well if it will go. There we go. Um, then you need to un disconnect the arms, if you can see that right. Uh, so the arms are disconnected. And, oh, there's his little face. Good detail on the face. Really good detail. And then you bring this leg through. Flip these caterpillar tracks upwards. Um, and twist these bits outwards. And there you have uh, Scavenger. Another really cool one. Uh, wheels or okay. I wish this wheel came forward a bit further, though. Which is a shame. But not. it's a good one. And it's still... Stands pretty well. There we go. I was thinking that wasn't going to work for a second. Next one is long haul because long haul is awesome. I don't care if he's a leg, um, and I should be doing the arms first. But long haul is awesome. So you want to flick this part upwards, bring the legs down, and uh, get this part. Get this whole bit here, uh, grab it at the top, and just, oh, that's stiff, that's what she said, push it forwards, and disconnect it there, it's kind of cool this though, because you can just put them together as a shield, and then take it out, and just go, eh, and whack someone, eh, oh, this is, these, the joints on this are really tight though, and really stiff, um, but no, this is one of the better detailed robot mods, he he has so much detail in his like face alone. Like look at that, that's an awesome face sculpt and like chest sculpt. It's it's, it's really movie accurate. Like when you actually see Long Haul, not the one that turns into Devastator, but the other version of him, it is movie accurate. So he can go there, and then I might as well do the other leg while I'm at it. This one is the other leg. He is. Rampage, that's his name. So, Rampage, you take these parts down, disconnect them like that, and just bring them up. Then, flip that part up, and you see his head, his very weird head. Then, you bring this part down, uh, push it out, and flip these parts. Um, actually, you flip those parts back, then push it all into place. Um, I don't really, this is probably my least favourite Legion class, just because it's not movie accurate, I, I don't really like these hands or the face sculpt, and I mean this part is cool, but it's invaded by these, so it doesn't look as original to the film, but it's still good, it's still a good toy, and it's still a constructor con, it's just hard to stand up, there we go, uh, Will it? Will it? Yeah, it will. Right, next one is this one. He is probably my favourite, even though I don't know his name. But to transform him, you just disconnect these parts and twist them around. Flip his head up and unclick those. Like, as you heard, it was clicked in a lot of parts because he's running when it unclicked. Um, so, yeah, that's his simple transformation. 
really cool and he has little nipples this transformer has mantits i mean nipples Krach. and look at those legs and that waist he's as thin as a prostitute i i mean wire he's as thin as a wire you didn't hear anything shut up but yeah this is a good transformer i love these little shoulder pads here and the design for his hands he's really cool he definitely looks like one of the um decepticon soldiers that's in the village fight um in the second transformers film when they're in egypt he definitely looks like one of the one of the constructor cons that was just fighting in the desert there and he double and there's this there's another version of him which is this version of him which goes into devastator because there seems to be two versions of all of them like maybe they're doppelgangers or maybe they're just maybe devastator is a hive mind so or maybe it's just like one yeah like one mind and he controls all those little bodies um which is probably the case considering we see do, long haul as a leg and as that so i'm guessing that that's a diff different one but anyway still good oh god dominoes we all fall like dominoes dominoes um there is his vehicle his robot mode i should say i will put him back there because he's one of the taller ones and finally there's this little guy who turns into a sort of scorpion he kind of like a large yellow version of scorpionark which i have by my side here to review in the in the future um so basically you're just going to want to bring these parts out from underneath him disconnect the legs and then get this section here and just so sort i've of put your thumb and finger there and there and just push it down um just bring it all the way down like that um and you can fold that bit up and put it there and then just kind of push there and use your fingernail and get this part out which is the cool feet the coolest feature on this one um and yet yeah, then you just fold his legs and push him out like that and bring his head and hands down so yet yeah, another cool one with caterpillar tracks and these little arms and this cool thing stinger thing here like a scorpion Oh, and that is basically it, guys, for the Legion class ROTF Devastator. He is really cool. He is definitely my one of my favourite Transformers and definitely one of my favourite Legion class ones. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, it's probably my longest one yet because I've had to review all the little ones separately. But, oh well. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, and in the comments, put which Transformer you want to see me review. Now, I have got um, Human Alliance Jazz on the way, so he should arrive in the coming months. But until, but until my next video, guys, I will see you later. Goodbye.